What's up, guys? It's David Baker, real estate agent here in the Phoenix, Arizona area. Today, I want to just touch base on what's going on in the Phoenix, Arizona real estate market. Please go ahead and leave a comment, like, subscribe, and smack that bell so you're notified every time I put up a new video. Let's get right into it. I want to make this short and sweet and hopefully informational. Um, we're looking at the Cromford report right here. It's a fantastic source for knowing what's going on in the real estate market. Now, the market index right there in the middle is at 89.4. It is now going into that red section. Once it's in that red section, you're basically looking at it's a buyer's market. If it's in the yellow, well, you're looking at uh, basically a transitional, doesn't favor anybody. And of course, when it's in the green, you are looking at it's a seller's market. Uh, and you know, last year it was like 400 points plus. But um, just for a point of reference, the market index in October was 98. So it has come down a bit. Why is that? Well, because the supply index has also gone up. The supply was 80.7 uh, in October. So it's gone up. We've, we're seeing supply going up. And the demand was at 79, basically 80. Um, last month, and it's down to 73.9. Now, uh, really, one of the main, main reasons this is going on is really because of higher interest rates. In uh, October, we were at basically at about 8%, you know, interest rate 7.5%. Um, I did get uh, with my lender this morning and uh, potentially people are able to get interest rates, you know, in the high sixes right now. So it has come down a little bit. And listening to, you know, some of the sources I have, in 2023, we're expected to go back down to around 5%. So my guess is that's what we're going to see. Now, going on right here, monthly average sales price. We ended up seeing those interest rates going up. And when we really saw things uh, going south as far as you know prices a little bit uh, was beginning in May, June. And that price ended up going down, going down, going down. And you can see it's kind of leveling off right now. It actually even went up a little bit when you're looking at price per square foot. So we did see it go from a high of 305 all the way down to about 278. So about you know $27 a square foot, give or take. Um, and if we look at the median sales price, we can also see that, uh, again, at the same time, it ended up going down and it went from about a 480 to about a 430 right now. So you see about a $50,000 drop in value. But again, you know, looking at the previous charts and, you know, getting the feel around there, it seems like it's stabilizing a little bit. We'll just have to play that one by ear and see what happens. Beyond that, this right here is the notices of trustee sale. What's going on with foreclosures? Everybody keeps on saying, oh, there is a wave of foreclosures coming. Well, this right here is notices of trustee sales. And you can see what it was like back in 2008 to 2012. Look at where we're at right now. Now, of course, this is when COVID hit, so they had the moratorium. But um, we're still extremely, extremely low. And how about the number of homes that are actually being foreclosed on? These are actually the trustee deeds right here. And look at this, 2014, 2015, 2016. You can see how many end up happening per month. And look at where we're at. We're really, really low. So not a whole lot of activity going on as far as, you know, foreclosures. So what to expect? Well, my understanding from uh, when I see interest rates, potentially we're going to see them staying up here in, in the sevens, maybe high sixes going into the, you know, the middle of next year, maybe, you know, spring, and they're potentially going to go down. So I would almost suggest go ahead and buy. Lenders are offering a 2-1 buy down, which will give you a uh, lesser interest rate, an introductory you know, rate for the first two years, in which case, once you get to that point, you can always refinance you know, in the future and uh, end up getting it locked for the 30 years. Anyway, that's what's going on right now in the Phoenix area. Um, we still see those high interest rates. We may see a little bit downward pressure on prices, but I got to tell you, it looks like it's leveling, leveling off. So let's see where it goes from here. Anyway, that's it for now. Again, please leave your comments. Let me know what you think and you have you guys a great day.